Well, hello there, Tankers of the Blitz universe. I'm Flossie, and this is the Skoda T27. Let me just make sure I'm recording before I keep yapping. Anyways, I am. So let's get right into this video on this amazing Tier 8 medium, which is currently available in the store for 7,500 gold if you do buy the tank uh, on its own. You can also buy it in a bundle with the uh, Titan Cherry tier, but that is not what I will be reviewing in today's video. I just want to go over this tank by itself because it is such an amazing medium tank. And uh, before I do get into three live battles, let's quickly go over the tank's stats. And starting off with the gun, it deals 220 damage on its standard shells, 190 on the premium, and 270 on its HE. Now, this tank does have a three shell clip, so you're going to be dishing out a ton of damage, especially for a tier 8 tank. You do have 8 degrees of gun depression, meaning you are going to be quite flexible on a lot of different maps. You have decent penetration, 210 on the standard, 249 on the premium, and 48 on its HE. In terms of its DPM, it has just over 2,000, which again, for an auto, uh, an auto loading medium tank at tier 8 is actually pretty solid. And its shell intraclip is 1.5 seconds, meaning you are going to dump your shells and you get tons of damage out super, super fast in this thing. In terms of its gun handling, it's actually pretty good. 2.9 seconds of aim time with a dispersion of 0 0.308. And its mobility, it goes 50 forward and 20 in reverse. So yes, it's very, very solid there with a good power to weight. So on paper, this tank is fantastic. And that does, in fact, translate well into battle as, as well. Um, the only thing this tank really lacks is armor, and it doesn't have any. You are going to get penned by literally everything that wants to shoot at you. Doesn't matter if it's a light tank, medium tank, tank destroyer, or heavy. You are going to get penned 95% of the time. Uh, you can get the occasional troll bounce if people just don't aim properly, but uh, yeah, chances are that's not going to happen. So, let's see what we can do in three live games and um really just showcase what this tank is capable of in terms of dishing out good damage um now that i say that i'm probably going to do like zero damage and uh screw my whole video over but uh oh well and you know what my team is playing really weird right now um unfortunately for my swindler i don't think he realizes that the entire team is going the other direction uh but i'm gonna follow the team I don't want to go across river by myself when I see they have a Type 62 Dragon and Brask and other deadly TDs like the Death Star that could nuke me while I cross. So, I'm going to go with my team. And, oh, hello. Look at this. Death Star has been spotted. Mm, all right. Well, you know what that means. That means I'm going to obviously try to get behind him as quickly as I can using my decent mobility. And, of course, there's a Tiger 2 here. Okay, well, um, you know, uh, plan B is to not get behind this guy and kind of wait until the Tiger 2 shoots at someone else here. Let me actually finish off that guy there. And uh, you can see, I mean, the Tiger 2 is crazy armor, but uh, it's all right. We can load our premium shells and pen him in the turret. And now I'm going to back up. So you can see here, even while shooting premium shells, uh, I was able to dish out 500-ish damage uh, with my clip, which is very, very nice. And the overall reload isn't too terrible for a uh, an auto loader at tier eight. A lot of auto loading tanks at this tier have a really long clip reload to kind of balance out the t crazy high damage they deal. But I mean, 16 seconds isn't that bad, honestly. I kind of just think this tank is uh, pretty much a tier eight TVP, and that's what makes it so fantastic and honestly so fun to play because I I just like the play style of having something that's super mobile. Um, with a good amount of damage that you can output. You can see there, actually, we did get a bounce from that player. And now I'm going to clip him. Oh, boy. Look at that masterpiece of a clip right there. Killing him off. And, um, yeah, let's see where this SU is now locating himself. Ah, oh, yes, there he is. Excellent player right here. And in about two seconds, he's going to get a clip in the rear. Oh, okay, apparently not. I need to aim my shells first. There we go ramming speed this thing actually can ram as well let's see if i can do that here oh my god bro i am wasting so much time trying to ram this guy please work please I, he no 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 he took 36 damage off of my bro okay well um uh, you know forget i said anything about its ramming i guess like apparently i can't even ram a tier 7 td okay cool anyways let's see if this brask is going to give me any more damage i know he's going for the is2 because of course he is a one shot to him and our IS-2 screws up his shell, which, I mean, I'll take it because, of course, that means that I can technically get out more damage here. 
uh, if I don't miss my shells. But uh, you know what? We're gonna still hit him twice, and um, let's see if I can ram him. Oh yeah, four damage. Mmm. Wow. Okay. Never mind, bro. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I mean, you can see this tank is really fun, and um, you can kind of just play it passive enough to where you're not going to get nuked, because obviously if you do just YOLO in this thing without team support, you are going to die very quickly because it has no armor, but you can see we uh, blocked a shell of damage, 310 damage, and uh, we did 2600, which is actually not too bad, pretty much 2700, so... Let's get into game number two. I mean, you can see there just the clipping power of this vehicle, allowing us to nuke players uh, very, very easily. And um, this is, again, a super fun medium tank at tier 8. I honestly don't see many people playing this tank, and I don't really understand why, because it's just so fun. It's It makes lots of credits, because of course it's a tier 8 premium. And you don't technically have to fire many gold shells in it, because it is obviously a medium uh, tank, so you're going to be flanking around and uh, dishing out damage from the sides or rear players uh, for the majority of uh, battles. So, honestly, combining those together, all those things, fun, makes credits, is because you can um, shoot a lot of standard shells, and honestly, it's really good. Like, this tank is just really good. Um, I know a lot of people, or m the majority of people who do play this tank really enjoy it a lot. So, let's see what we can do on a map like Camp Stia. I hate this map so much, dude. Oh my god, this is definitely my top two, in my top two for my least favorite maps. Because, uh, yeah, the design of it is horrible. Like, you literally just camp on the hills and wait for one team, either yours or the enemy team, to make the mistakes. And then, uh, it's basically just a who can kill and bleed out the enemy team faster match. That's, uh, it's basically it. There's literally no real enjoyment in playing on this map. But anyways, enough of Castilla's awful map design. Let's get into um, into our position here. I'm going to see if I can spot anyone. Maybe someone's going to go mid. You never know, really. And uh, I'm just going to wait to see what our team spots as well. The majority of my team did go A, uh, which is medium side, of course. So uh, that's very good for me. And it seems like their team... Oh, never mind. I was about to say it seems like their team didn't go this side, but... Now I don't know what to believe. What is this IS-2 doing? Oh my god, hello, brother. Okay, well, that's one shell, two shells, and... Three shells, you can just see that. Uh, he got one bounce into my vehicle, and I was able to pet him three times before he could even back off the hill. Like, that's how quick this thing will dump its damage out. That's what makes it a really strong tank. Um, so here we have the IS-2 shielded. What a goaded player right in front of me here. And um, I'm just going to wait till he pokes up, because, of course, this guy does not look very good at the game. So, uh... oh, uh, apparently I'm shooting at walls, too. Hold on. Let me let me reset my brain there real quick. So I got one shell into him at least. Uh, this guy is just yoloing the STRV, and uh, he actually gets him killed for doing that. Interesting. Well, this is clearly the best player in all of Blitz. So let me try and get him out of the game before he can cause even more damage to my team. There we go. There's two shells of DU, and the, the uh, 252 may give me a shell. There we go. Excellent. So that's three shells out. And, um, yeah, so far we're doing okay, 1,300 damage, and there's only two enemy players dead so far. So, hopefully, players like this silencer will keep sitting in the open for me to keep shooting at them. Um, but I don't really know for sure. So, you know what? In that case, I'm going to make my way over this mound of dirt towards the T-69, because this guy is kind of by himself. Um, I don't really think I'm gonna get, going to get punished too much for YOLOing him. So let me, uh, let me shoot him once, twice, and goodbye. There we go. Lovely clip into that player right there. And actually, they do... Oh my god, they have a lot of people in spawn, bro. What is this I am looking at right now? Another bounce. Incredible stuff right there from whoever just bounced me. And uh, let me see if I can clip someone else out here. Oh, it was the CDA that bounced me. Okay. Interesting. Well, uh, I'm going to wait here. This yo is probably going to de absolutely destroy me. I did not realize he was... Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Please, team. Please. Please kill him. Yes. Oh, yes. My teammates are goats. I'm 17 health, but I am still alive. Let's go, guys. And um, the Tiger 1, or Tiger 2, sorry, not Tiger 1. What am I saying? Hopefully, he's going to be the guy that this uh, CDA focuses out first. There we go. And uh, hopefully, that will allow me to clip this player out in a very short amount of time here. And 
Wow, my aim is horrible today, guys. I don't know what else to say. Um, but we've done a lot of damage. Um, thanks to my OP team, who actually allowed me to survive. We were able to get out another clip, and we might actually get out another shell or two into this uh, 252U. But who knows? Maybe he's uh, going to be staring right at me as I pull around this corner. Ah, yes, there he is. Well, maybe I won't be getting another shell out. Oh, I did. There we go. Nice. Now all my team has to do is finish off his 86 remaining health like this SU is probably going to do right now. Let's see. Or not. Okay, or we're going to bounce him multiple different times. Thank you, Progetto. Uh, can you aim? Excellent. Well, there we go. Uh, that's game number two in this tank. And again, you can see, like, uh, the thing gets nuked really easily when you do put it into aggressive positions. But overall, uh, having the clipping power like this tank does... It just allows you to deal 3,400 damage in a game like this, and it's really, really amazing. So there we go. Top on the team for game number two, and let's roll into game number three. Uh, wow, that was an insanely fast game loading time. Uh, so yeah, let's see what we can do in our final game, and do I think the Skoda is worthwhile, uh, worth worth it for use to spend your gold on? Oh my god, I can't speak today, because I'm on three hours of sleep, and I just got home from work. So, wow, incredible stuff right there. Thank you, Flossie, for that amazing commentary. Uh, but yeah, is this tank worth the gold? Yes, in my personal opinion, this tank is most definitely worth the gold, because of the fun factor, because of how good this tank is. Um, in battle, and I just, again, overall, I just love the play style of this thing. So, anyways, game number three on Falls Creek. Let's see what we can do against these enemy players, and there is an enemy Skoda on the team there. I mean, you can see, against my tank, like, the upper plate is kind of troll. Um, you can see that there, but uh, let's see here. Let's get two shells into that lightweight. Again, the intra clip is just so fantastic on this tank. Um, yeah, it, it's just great. I, I don't really understand why our Y5 decided to go that aggressive, though. But you know what? Whatever. He can choose to do what he wants. And, um, speaking of choosing to do what they, what that person wants, look at the blaze, bro. What is, what is man cooking over here? What is my gun doing also? The fact I missed that shot on him is kind of funny. Uh, but okay. Anyways, let's see what this IS is going to do here. I'm going to save my shell and get a pen into his tank. What in the world was he shooting at? The sky, bro? What is what is going on right now? These enemy players are not very good. Uh, this, this, this battle is not really any sort of showcase of the tank. It's more just showcasing how bad Blitz players are. Look at this thing. Like, this, this type player. Interesting. Yeah. Impressive trade. I mean, I guess you can see how the clip's working in this battle. Like, we got shot once. Like, oh no. And then we clipped him three times. So... I guess that's a good showcase for that. But I'm not even going to worry about him. I'm going to shoot at this guy once. Uh, hopefully our T25-2 can actually, like, you know, aim. There we go. Nice. And let me now YOLO the Annihilator. Apparently there's two Annihilators left. Oh, boy. Of course they're in a tune. Of course one of them is level 50 as well. Wow. All right. You know what that means. I have to go for the level 50 player in the Annihilator, of course. So let me uh, hit him once in the turret. Let me try and hit him twice in the turret. There we go. And let me try to hit him three times total. So there we go. That's third shell into his tank. And now he's basically dead. So not too worried about him anymore. Um, the other Annihilator is now pushing up. And he is getting bled in the rear for it. So incredible stuff. I'm going to use my gun depression to try to get a shell into his turret there. One... Bro misses his whole clip on me. Incredible stuff. Two and three. Look at that. We were able to do just over 3,000 damage. And our Y5 is going to try to kill this guy. I'm going to ram him though. Yes. We finally got to ram someone for more than like two damage. There you go. That is the um, the Skoda. It's a very fun vehicle. Um, it's actually one of my go-to mediums for tier 8 if I am playing tier 8, and uh, you can see why. It's absolutely fantastic. I do recommend this tank. Uh, of course, it does take skill to play, so you can't just YOLO and get away with everything in it. So, obviously, if you're newer to the game, maybe picking up a medium tank like this isn't the best idea, but if you do already have a decent amount of experience in the game and you want something new and fun to play, then the Skoda is definitely a tank worth getting.
And uh, with that out of the way, for any of you out there who are not yet subscribed to my channel, I highly recommend you do so as it's a fantastic way to support my content and stay up to date when I post videos almost daily. And with that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.